Washington, D.C. has until tomorrow night to figure out a way to prevent the government from running out of money. The GOP-led House passed numerous spending bills last night, but none of them will avert a shutdown, and the clock is ticking while both sides remain split. The bills passed by the House are expected to be dead on arrival in the Senate. Likewise, the Senate's bipartisan stopgap proposal, which still needs final passage, is not likely to get through the House. Finding affordable child care about to get worse. The child care stabilization grant program ends tomorrow. That means more than 70,000 child care programs might also come to a close. The Century Foundation says about 3.2 million children will be kicked out of daycare when the program ends. Former President Donald Trump will not try to move his Georgia election interference case to federal court. Earlier this month, Trump notified the judge that he may try to get his state case into the federal system. But yesterday, his attorneys wrote their decision is based on Trump's confidence that the Fulton County Superior Court will protect his constitutional right to a fair trial. The United Auto Workers strike against the big three automakers could soon expand. So far, no serious progress in ongoing talk. The main issue, pay. The union says workers should get a 40% raise. Automakers are offering a 20% raise. New claims for jobless benefits remain low as the overall job market remains strong. The Department of Labor reported that initial claims for unemployment insurance last week were 204,000. That's up 2,000 claims from the previous week's revised total, which is the lowest level since late January. U.S. consumer spending much weaker in the second quarter than previously estimated. Consumer spending was down from the 1.7% rate to a 0.8% annualized rate. The Commerce Department's final revision of second quarter gross domestic product showed that economic growth was unchanged from the second estimate. The GDP is the broadcast measure of economic output. Pending home sales in the U.S. fell more than expected last month. The drop of over 7% in August is the steepest fall in nearly a year. Analysts blame the drop on high mortgage rates now over 7%. The Justice Department has filed an antitrust lawsuit against a data provider for the meatpacking industry. The suit alleges agri-staffs of sharing non-public information, allowing its clients, which include some of the biggest poultry and pork producers, to raise prices. The DOJ says the practice harms restaurants, grocery stores, and consumers. Federal safety regulators are warning parents to stop using a certain bassinet immediately because it could possibly be deadly for a baby. The warning is for the 5-in-1 rocker bassinet. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says they pose suffocation, strangulation, and fall hazards to infants. They were sold online at walmart.com and other websites. And that's today's 9 at 9. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.